Welcome to Plan Briefing for Sunday, December 11th. I'm Alex Lugambeal here at the National Weather Service in Missoula. Here's a look at the key points we're highlighting next few weeks. Widespread snow tonight into Monday. This is associated with the low pressure system that's going to move into central Idaho. And it's really going to focus the heaviest snowfall across Idaho County, including the White Bird Hill area, us areas around Grangeville southward to White Bird Hill. This is where we have a winter storm warning in effect. Then we see a cold weather pattern setting up through next week. We have very high confidence for temperatures of at least 10 degrees below normal. And we're going to be seeing a few light snowfall events setting up across western Montana and northerly flow. Not expecting a whole lot of snowfall accumulation, just to become just enough to be a nuisance, really. Then we're tracking the potential for hazardous cold in Montana. And this is going to start taking shape December 17th, extending all the way through Christmas Eve. Here's a look at satellite imagery. We have an area of low pressure that's moving eastward into northern California. And this area of low pressure is going to track into central Idaho overnight into Monday morning. And you can see all this Pacific moisture stream ahead of this low. That's going to shift into our area overnight into Monday morning and bring that widespread snowfall really focusing in on the Idaho County area. Here's a look at what we could what we could be ex seeing for snowfall accumulations. One area that we're not as confident with totals is across west central Montana. The models are showing a wide range of p potential outcomes. Right now we generally have one to three inches in the forecast but a few localized bands of heavier snow could develop and we could see anywhere from five to six inches in a few spots uh, by that Monday morning commute. Uh, one thing to take note is we are seeing a cold front move in overnight, dropping into the Flathead Valley after midnight, moving southward along the I-90 corridor by that Monday morning time frame. Temperatures are gonna drop into the 20s and any, any untreated surfaces will freeze overnight. Here's a look at the probability of four, four or more inches of snowfall. The Idaho County area from Grangeville uh, really stands out as you move southward over the White Bird Hill area. And then as you get into the mountain locations south and east of Grangeville, uh, heading into the Dixie area, Elk City, those are seeing higher probabilities as well for accumulating snow over four inches. A few quick points. White Bird Hill shows that snowfall intensity really picking up. Uh, later this evening into Monday morning. And a similar story for Evero Hill. Uh, you can also see that drop in temperatures into the, the 20s uh, by Monday morning. And then we need to take a look at what the weather pattern is going to do uh, heading into the later part of next week into that Christmas Eve time frame. We are seeing this strong ridge of high pressure set up off the western U.S. coast. And that's allowing all this cold air locked in Siberia and the northern latitudes to move southward across interior, interior of western Canada and move into the northern Rockies. The first surge of cold air that we're highlighting arrives by next weekend, December 17th and 18th. And there, the ensembles are also showing a secondary surge potentially showing up uh, during the week leading up to Christmas. So we have very high confidence, high temperatures are going to be well below freezing during this time. And just how cold we get will depend on how much moisture is present. Do we have periods of light snow and clouds moving in, or is it a very dry air mass? And what stands out too is we do have a 50% probability looking at all the ensembles of hazardous cold setting up along the divide, especially in the West Glacier region. A summer graphic just to sum up this cold pattern setting up, it's going to be a prolonged cold. And we do have high probability, 70% probability for below zero across western Montana, 50% probability for hazardous cold on, along the divide, especially in the glacier region. A near record, near record cold temperatures are also possible. There's a low probability of this occurring, but it's something that's potentially in the cards. And the duration of this event is going to have impacts to the energy sector. Uh, now is it really the time to start preparing uh, for those that are sensitive and potentially given how dangerous this cold uh, weather could be. Just to finish things up, here's a look at the weather matrix. Really just highlighting the widespread snow that we have coming up tonight into Monday, uh, focusing in the Idaho County area. 
Uh, we'll, we'll have some light snow lingering in southwest Montana along the divide into Tuesday morning. Otherwise, we're expecting a, a few light snow events uh, Wednesday, potentially into Thursday across western Montana. Not much impact there, just some minimal amounts, more of a nuisance. And that's all we have for today. Our next briefing is set up for Thursday, December 15th. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.